Prince Charles has been the longest king in waiting among all the heirs to the throne within the British royal family. And it seems he would have to wait a few more years before he can be crowned king because Queen Elizabeth won't abdicate or resign her role as monarch. But even if this is the case, multiple publications have been insisting that the Queen is ready to give up the throne. Unfortunately, it's because she wants Prince William to lead the British monarchy and not Prince Charles. Prince Charles has been dying to become king for years. But the recent racism scandal forced him to accept his fate. He has always considered the crown his birthright. It's hard for him to see this public clamor for William to leapfrog him, essentially even though he's incredibly proud of his son. As bittersweet as it is for Charles to accept, there's no disputing that William will be a wonderful king when the opportunity arises. But for now, Prince Charles is, allegedly, staying mum over Queen Elizabeth's decision to pass the throne to her grandson. In the meantime, Charles is staying calm, carrying out his duties and hoping his recent issues will blow over. If not, he's quite pragmatic and will accept the cards that come his way. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's move to step down from their royal duties was a huge blow to the members of the royal family. To make the matter worse, Prince Harry made serious allegations against his father, saying he cut them out financially. Prince Harry also seemingly criticized Prince Charles' fatherhood in a previous interview. When he talked with Dax Shepherd, he hinted about the Prince of Wales passing on his pain to his kids. My father used to say to me when I was younger, he used to say to William and I, well, it was like that for me, so it's gonna be like that for you. That doesn't make sense, Prince Harry said. When it comes to parenting if I've experienced some form of pain and suffering because of the pain and suffering that perhaps my father or parents suffered, I'm gonna make sure I break that cycle so that I don't pass it on, he continued. As parents, we should try and make sure we're doing the most we can. Like, that happened to me. I'm gonna make sure that doesn't happen to you. Some experts also felt that he threw his father under the bus in his statement about the cash for honors scandal. Despite Prince Charles' rocky relationship with Prince Harry, he will probably need his and Prince William's support when he takes over the throne. I feel really sorry for Prince Charles, Daily Mail's diary editor Richard Eden said on the Palace Confidential podcast. The Queen was always going to be an extremely hard act to follow, and there have been plenty of doubts about Prince Charles as king. He added, he needs his sons to be supporting him and emphasizing what a good monarch he would be, and instead, he is Harry launching these brickbats from across the Atlantic. The Queen always wanted Prince William to succeed her. And when the racism scandal broke out, she realized how important it is to follow her heart. The general consensus is Charles is unfit to be king. This has been in discussion for quite some time, but recent events have shown palace officials that they have no other choice but to push William to take over when the Queen passes or abdicates. It insisted that the monarch also believes in Prince William's abilities, and the latter is also wise beyond his years, level-headed, compassionate, and has empathy for the less fortunate that's why the Queen is impressed. Plus, he has the fortitude to withstand the pressure and to carry out the ceaseless duties that fall to the monarch or and to carry out the